Hello everyone. Today I have a pretty exciting video. It's a week of harvests. I'm already falling behind of <laughs> what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to share with you what I'm harvesting. Um, I have purslane and chard and kale that I've just shown. Um, and here is nasturtium. So you'll see some things coming up again and again and again. And some things are just kind of um, as they come up uh, or when they need to be cut back, that kind of thing. So um, right now is kind of the peak um, of the summer garden for me. I'm having a ton of tomatoes every day. The um, yellow pear tomatoes are just massively producing all the time. Um, so I've had beans, uh, different dried beans, and then some garbanzo beans. And then this is cauliflower greens. Um, so those are kind of from my raised beds. And then I have some side uh, garden area, which is what these are from. These are radish seed pods, uh, radish greens, and little beet greens. So um, I also have beans over there. Um, and then I have a small wood chipped side garden, which is where the zucchini's from. And I have a front yard garden that has just started producing uh, at the very end of this video. But the uh, amaranth and the lavender is from the front yard garden. So a lot of places to pick from and a lot of places that are producing every single day. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's an exciting time. So this is a feral cat that lives behind my house. <laughs> he was pretty friendly. He kept doing like that, um, like where they slowly close their eyes at you, um, like the blinking thing, which is, I think, like a sign of trust and friendliness. So I think, I think he's a friendly guy. Um, so back behind the house, we have a wild plum tree. And so I've been trying to keep up with it. I think I mentioned this in the sourdough video. There is an excess of wild plums on this tree. And they're a little bit sour, so they're, I don't know, they're not, they're, they're good to eat fresh, but I don't want to have too many of them because it's a little acidic and the skin is pretty, um, sour tasting. The flesh is delicious. So I've been dehydrating a lot of these and I also have been eating quite a lot fresh, like several a day. I think they would probably make a great jam. I just don't have everything I need for jam, like in terms of jars. I don't really have any jars right now, so I should, <laughs> I should get some. So I have a bunch of uh, tomato plants. Um, last year, I um, ate a tomato from the grocery store, and it was a small yellow sweet tomato, like a small yellow cherry tomato and I saved the seeds from it and I think it was definitely hybrid because the seeds I was getting are the the seeds that I planted yielded so many different shapes and hues of yellow and red cherry tomatoes so it's very exciting um so here I have some mint I have to trim that back pretty frequently to keep it from overrunning my garden um, it was planted in my raised beds before I moved in here um, beans and um, broccoli, little broccoli heads. I've already harvested the main head and I'm just keep keep up with picking the smaller heads that pop up and I've been putting those in the freezer. This is my very first okra, which was super exciting. I really liked it. I was surprised. I really liked it as like a little snack. I never had it before. <laughs> um, so day three, we're kind of slowing down. We're getting into the work week less like big focus on harvesting, um, especially because it takes some time to process the food. So harvesting so much food, you then have to process it. So slowing down on that front. <laughs> so beans and tomatoes. Um, the tomatoes are the thing that you kind of have to keep up with. Otherwise they'll, you know, just get eaten out there um, by whatever bugs and stuff. 
Um, and I got a little radish. So day five, I harvested a sunflower head, which is super exciting. Purslane, um, either mustard or kale or both, um, a bunch of tomatoes, and a huge buttercup squash, which I'm really impressed with the buttercup squash plant that I have. It's been producing a lot. Well, I don't know if it's been producing a lot, but the squashes are huge, and I've had three already, and there's more on the way. So here's a zucchini. <laughs> it, uh, zucchini's one of those things that just keeps giving um, until it's done pollinating itself, and then it stops for, like, three days, and then it just pumps out, like, three um, for some reason. That's my, my experience. So here's some chard and some amaranth again. So those greens cooked up together are delicious. And some more tomatoes. There's something going wrong with my Roma tomatoes where there's like some bug or something. I don't know. They have these weird yellow spots, but they're still fine. Um, and then I went and picked some blackberries behind my house. And I also picked some more of those plums behind my house. And it got very dark. <laughs> This is some late days, late days, definitely, um, during summer harvests. So on Friday, I had to pick some purslane from the garden and some greens and um, celery to make my salad. So for dinner, I made a salad. I picked that stuff fresh for that, and then I um, had to finish up with the rest of the watering and harvesting later that evening. So here are the beans that I have from the Friday harvest. Um, I have some garbanzo beans as well. So far, I, I didn't realize how little garbanzo beans were going to produce that you'd have to plant a lot more of them because I plant like beans all over the yard. Um, and I'm thinking for next summer, I'm going to want to plant a lot more garbanzo beans just all over the yard so that I have them popping up all over the place. Um, and then, yeah, again, some uh, mustard greens, some broccoli, you know, oh, basil, topping off my basil so that it doesn't go into flower. Nasturtium, I have one nasturtium that just won't quit. <laughs> it's been putting off so many blooms throughout the hot summer. It's really impressive. And I started that one in my home uh, that was my second okra, and it was very small, but I didn't want it to get big and woody and gross, so I just picked it. Um, could have let it go for probably another day. Um, and yeah, these <laughs> in this lighting, these tomatoes don't look super ripe, um, but I don't know. In the evening light, I can get fooled sometimes and end up picking a little bit, little bit green tomatoes. Um, just because the lighting is so orange. Um, anyway, uh, that's it. That's the whole week. So, uh, thanks for watching.